Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to do a review on a gun today and for those of you that don't know me, maybe you were looking up gun reviews or just guns period, um, I'm just getting into the guns um, and shooting as a hobby and all that sort of stuff. So if I misphrase something, don't you know call it by a proper name or whatever, um, or you just think that I've missed something, uh, don't leave any stupid comments, alright? Uh, I am learning, so teach me instead of criticizing me. Um, that's all I'm asking for. Today I'm going to go and review the Taurus PT-92. Um, and before I get started on it, I'm going to do a safety check. There is no magazine in it, and there's nothing in the barrel no bullet anywhere. Um, Taurus 92 is uh, actually built off the uh, the Beretta 92 model um, with a few different uh, accessories and modifications. Um, Taurus bought the um, the design off of the Beretta line. Um, and like I said, they did some modifications. Um, some of them uh, are pretty obvious. The uh, uh, the safety is moved down onto the frame instead of up onto the barrel uh, where it was, as well as they've added this accessory rail uh, for any lasers or anything like that. Um, the safety itself, well, I'll get into the safeties in a minute. Um, this one is the Chrome Edition, really nice gun. Uh, it's got a five uh, inch barrel uh, exposed. I like that. It's kind of like a gangster look. Uh, this is a 9mm gun. It came with two 17 round clips and uh, a bore brush and two Taurus keys. Um, kind of a hex type key, but I'm sure if you lose these you're screwed. Uh, that's part of the safety features which I'll get into in just a minute. The sights on this thing are uh, just your standard three dot sight. Um, I believe there is a model of this gun that has uh, adjustable sights. This one here, it doesn't. It's uh, locked in there. The uh, trigger pull on it uh, is really nice. It's a, uh, what is it, single double? I think it is. Single action, double action. Um, trigger pull on it's really nice. I like the feel of that. It's got the exposed hammer. Again, kind of has that gangster look. Um, got the uh, thumb release for the magazine. Uh, like I said, it's a 17 round clip or magazine uh, and uh, one in the chamber. Now the safeties on these are, are really, there's about four different safeties on it. Um, the first one you'll notice, there's a little black dot down here. That's where the Taurus key comes in. You slide that into the, uh, into the hole and give it a twist and it'll pop out. The gun now cannot be fired. All right, Which is a nice safety feature for people like me that uh, have these for you know hobby but uh, for self-defense that kind of isn't the greatest uh, safety there is. It's got an ambidextric, uh, that's a hard word to say for me, I don't know, uh, safety on it. Um, click it up, click it down. As well as that being a safety, if the gun is cocked, it's also a decocker. Push it down, the gun is now decocked. You can eject the magazine, slide open the uh, slide, release the bullet. Um, so that's a nice little thing. As well as it's got the, uh, the sight up here, uh, when the bullet is inside the chamber, it uh, pops out and uh, has a little red line on there so you can tell if the gun actually has one in the chamber. The uh, teardown on this thing is pretty simple. There's a little, uh, little button here on this side and there's a lever on this side. You push this side button in and pull the lever and you see the barrel slides forward slide it off the rail or off the uh, frame. The frame I believe is um, uh, an aluminum. 
it's nice and light. All the weight is in this, which is just a giant piece of steel. Take out the uh, recoil spring and the uh, the guide, I think it is, and then pop the barrel out, and that's all there is to tear down. Nice and simple. I like it. Uh, it's really easy to get in there and clean, which I probably should do pretty soon. I'm kept up on this pretty good. Um, rebuilding it is usually pretty simple, but this thing's giving me a hard time. There you go. Slide it back into the position, make sure the uh, black piece is uh, back in place. Take the uh, recoil guide and the spring, stick it back in the hole, and make sure that you set it into the notch there. And then take it, slide it back over, line it up, and there you go. Simple as that. Warranty is a lifetime warranty. Uh, warranty guarantee. Anything happens in the length of time you own the gun, you just send it right back in. You say deal with it, and they'll send one right back, or they'll send that one back, um, and say here you go, it's fixed. Um, so I do like that. That's one of the big bonuses of their uh, of their gun line is uh, the warranty. Anything goes wrong with it, just send it back to them, and uh, away you go. The only thing that I would complain about with this gun, um, the fact that it is a $500 gun, something more than just a cheap cardboard box would be nice. Um, yeah, oh, look at that, it's already cut or something, I don't know. Um, something nice would have been a lot better, but then that probably would have added on. So I just went to Walmart, got myself a $10 case and then I upgraded to a big bag for you know holding everything but uh, that would basically be it. This being my first gun it's not the first one I've shot I've got friends that uh, have let me shoot their guns and uh, I tell you what I, I like this one uh, with the weight it doesn't have very much recoil um, I'm still learning the sights um, but it does have a pretty accurate uh, um, line of sight um, for a guy like me, I mean I've shot maybe 300 rounds so far 150, yeah probably somewhere around 300 rounds so far not a problem um, and uh, yeah overall I like it, it's an extremely comfortable gun to uh, to uh, shoot due to the weight it's probably not the best for a concealed carry, but uh, I do like it when I have it in the holster hanging off my hip. It does feel comfortable for me. Um, and uh, yeah, I do like the chrome. Um, I know the uh, the black is uh, just as nice, but uh, I wanted something pretty, you know what I mean? Uh, this gun is, you know, one I probably won't get rid of anytime soon, if at all. Um, Definitely worth the money. Um, I know you can get a Beretta for a little bit more, but uh, I've looked uh, at the reviews on these things. 90% of them uh, are are good. There are some that have you know so-so or uh, are bad, but uh, the uh, bad reviews I've noticed that uh, usually it's something that they have done to the gun or they bought like a third-party clip or magazine. And then tried putting it in, but the problem would be the magazine, not the uh, the gun itself. Um, but uh, definitely well worth it if uh, if you just want one gun to you know shoot around. Um, it's uh, for me a gun is one of those things that you buy, and it's uh, you know how much you want to pay is how good of a gun it's going to be. So uh, yeah. But uh, like I said, you know, if I've missed anything uh, or mispronounced something or whatever the, you know, thing might be, remember that I am starting out and uh, that uh, constructive, constructive criticism is totally cool because uh, I do need to learn things and especially when it comes to something that can kill somebody, you know what I mean?
I don't want to be killing people. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Um, my review is it's a gun that gets a uh, Cisco and Ebert two thumbs up. So, yeah. Tell my next gun. See you later.